Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, April 21st, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A big rumbler in Bartabunga, the biggest in years, over in Iceland, and severe hail damage to report on in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Keep calm. It's boom time. Saturday downpours trigger flash flooding and large hail across the south. According to the National Weather Service office in Greenville, South Carolina, widespread damage was reported in Rock Hill, a community outside Charlotte. Severe thunderstorms bring large hail and damage homes and cut power to thousands. And now we're going to show you the extensive storm damage in York and Gaston counties. Clearly, you can see here uh, this car completely obliterated. And incredible amounts of damage reported coming out in North and South Carolina here. These are shots from Rock Hill, South Carolina, where you can see the, the trees are just shredded here, basically. And we've got more footage here, unfortunately. Crazy hail damage and accumulation in Rock Hill this afternoon. This video from Art Thomas. You can see here his car completely destroyed, as well as his house. Look at the accumulation of hail there. Absolutely epic. Biblical even. Well, holy hail. Look at the side of the house. We'll go back to the damage on the car. Look at how damaged that vehicle is. We have some more footage here from someone inside their car during the storm as the car gets completely obliterated. nothing you can do oh look at that her back window is busted this video goes on for a while and it's uh, quite a shame what happened here in South Carolina yesterday the threat for strong storms continues on Monday dropping down into central Florida there in late April severe weather threat targets the plains and Midwest Later this week, here we see the severe storm threat for the plains on Thursday from Hayes and Wichita down to Abilene in Texas. And on Friday, severe storm threat for the plains from Iowa all the way down into Oklahoma. So heed the warnings. We could see some more very destructive hail like we did yesterday. Rainfall and thunderstorms across the southeast U.S. today. Widespread frost concerns in the Ohio and Tennessee Valley tonight. You could see all these states lit up with frost and freeze warnings. Lingering showers and thunderstorms are expected across the southeast today in Florida through Monday. Above average temperatures are forecast through the southwest with below average readings for most locations east of the Rockies. Meanwhile, lows in the 20s and 30s are likely to lead to frost concerns in the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys tonight and into Monday. And that means a lot of fruit production here is going to get damaged. So, buckle up, Buttercup. We could be seeing some poor fruit seasons for the states in blue. Who knew? Now you do. Have you heard about the heavy floods going on in Chaoguang, Guangdong this afternoon? Actually, yesterday. They are literally insane. This is a river valley. Absolutely amazing amounts of rain here. I think they got over 20 inches. And clearly, there's going to be some loss of life from this event. Many cities are underwater and many evacuations have already occurred. Absolutely fantastic. Have you heard? Climate change will make you poorer, according to a new report. That's all we need. <laughs> Seismic update. We did kick off the show with that 5.3 in Humpf, Iceland. That is from the Bartabunga volcano uh, out there in Iceland on the Vatnajökull, under the Vatnajökull glacier there. 
Another big rumbler, 5.4 in Zapata, Mexico today, probably rumbling some nerves. Overall, low-level activity worldwide. And here's the article from Iceland Geology Today. Moderate earthquake in Bartabunga volcano this morning. The last time uh, an earthquake of this size happened was back in the Hogrun in 2014 and 2015 during an eruption. Now, good news is that Bartabunga erupts every 10 years or more, so we're still about a year out probably from another Bartabunga eruption. Speaking of eruptions, Worldwide Volcano News, Ruang Volcano, some of the first post-eruption satellite images coming out as the activity cools down there. Liwotolo, 6,000 feet today. Ruang still puffing to 7. Ducono to 9,000. Savankaya to 24,000 feet. Nevado de Ruiz, 22,000. Merapi on the list, Savankaya to 24. Semaru to 14. Liwotolo, 6,000 foot puff. Ducono to 9. The Reykjanes Peninsula, this is getting interesting, and we will tell you about it in just a moment. But a new volcano for the list on today, Bagana, back on the list, puffing to 7,000 feet. Now, the Reykjanes Volcano update, there is a likelihood of another new eruption while the other eruption is going on, and it is increasing and could initiate in close proximity to the ongoing site. Yes, this is really heating up. In the Sundinukar area, there has been notable shift in volcanic activity with an increasing chance of magma propagation coinciding with the ongoing eruption. This new development marks a departure from the previous cyclical pattern observed since December. If magma continues to accumulate at the current rate, the likelihood of another magma propagation event within the next few days or weeks rises, even while the current eruption persists. Notably, the occurrence of magma propagation during an ongoing eruption is unprecedented in this region, adding to the uncertainty surrounding future developments. So things spicing up on Iceland. Space weather news update. Some moderate activity today with the solar flux now going back up to 217. Dozens of spots and many, many active regions on the disk. The visible solar disk is full of sunspot regions today with the addition of newly assigned AR 3652, 3653, 3654, 3655, and 3656, all coming around the limb there for the most part. There is currently at least 16 active regions present. Solar activity during the past 24 hours was at moderate levels with numerous minor C flares and a couple of impulsive lower level M flares detected. All of the activity was observed around the cluster of active regions, including 3637, 3638, 3645, and 3647. All other regions have been, for the most part, stable. M-class solar flares will remain likely during the next 24 hours, with a lower chance for an isolated X-flare. So that is the state of the sun, and in the next 24 hours or 48 hours, we will go into a seismic alert for these coronal holes as they now turn and face Earth. The latest data on the last solar cycle comparison here, solar cycle 25 just slightly above 24 and now leveling off. If we get any higher than, let's say, 220, we could see a bump up here in activity for the month. As we look at the solar polar fields, it appears as if they all of them have reversed except one data point. So... Solar max is all but right now, and we will be headed into solar minimum uh, very shortly as soon as the final field uh, data point reverses. A new paper coming out two days ago, weakening of the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation. The AMOC is showing that the AMOC has weakened by up to 12%, plus or minus 5%. That, could, that means it has weakened as much as 17% based on the error there. And that is very worrying for those in Europe. Because if the AMOC shuts down, the warm weather that Europe uh, has been receiving comes to an end. What else has come to an end is the fraud in plain sight. A paper coming out about Arctic sea ice extent proves there has been no record minimum in Last year or in recent years? How do you like them apples? Now, if you haven't heard 
Brian Forster has been working on the mystery of Peru's elongated skulls, specifically the Paracas skulls. That's where he lives down there in Peru. And they've been working on genetic analysis for five years now. And the data is in. The Paracas skulls of 18 samples, they got results from 12 of them, and they are showing that they contain haplogroup H, which comes from Europe, in Egypt, of all places, where the pharaohs once lived and where the Atlanteans might have been, uh, this really throws a monkey wrench, not only into out of Africa, but some of the theories of Native Americans, specifically those in South America. An interesting article here, strange elongated skulls reveal medieval Bulgarian brides were traded for politics. So people were trying to emulate these uh, elongated skulls in Germany just 25, oh, just 1,500 years ago. Absolutely fascinating. Good work, Mr. Forster. And I'm sure there are a lot of revealing mysteries coming soon. If you didn't know, it's palindrome week. Every day this week is exactly the same backwards. Holy macaroni. And that's a boom to knowledge and science. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. And be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. <laughs>